almost anybody, and I mean anybody, can start eBay business this week. Hello again and welcome to the channel. I'm Polish Pete and I like to talk about my experiences with eBay. I am a reseller based in UK and I sell cheap ladies clothing. So-called high street brands, even supermarket brands and even brands that nobody recognizes. Today I would like to convince you that almost anybody can start eBay business this week and without disrespecting anybody I mean if you are healthy you know and there is nothing wrong with you you are not homeless or heavy disabled and you no know, gluten intolerance doesn't count guys there is really no excuse and if you want to start eBay business there is nothing that can stop you. If you if you don't know if you're going to make it, if you have any doubts, you know, watch this video and maybe, just maybe, I'll trigger you to act. But before we start, if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking that notification bell. So, you want to start reselling to resell on eBay. Assumption is a matter of cock-ups, but I assumed I assume that you have watched some YouTube videos and you've got at least some sort of a smartphone, some sort of internet connection and possibly a laptop or a PC computer and a printer. If you haven't got a PC or laptop or printer, you can still do it on your phone, but it will be way much harder. Yeah, as you will have to go to uh, to your library to print out labels or something like that. It's doable, but it's a pain in the neck. Provided that you've got a post office and parcel shop uh, within walking distance, you won't even need a car. Yes, you don't have to go to charity shops. You don't have to go to car boot sales. And you can have your stock delivered to your house, to your door, without any problems. And it won't cost you arm and a leg. You don't need a fancy light setup, you know, like a photo setup, lightning or backdrop or stuff like that. I've started on my floor against the biggest window in the house. Yeah, No lights, no backdrop, no fa fancy equipment. In fact, no equipment whatsoever. Yeah. So, I assume that you've got all this that I have mentioned a couple of seconds ago. So, smartphone, laptop, internet connection. Yeah, you will also need money to buy scale and kitchen scale is perfectly fine and poly mailers to send your items to your customers in and some initial stock. Don't believe people, please don't believe people who are saying that you can start without any money by selling stuff around your house that you don't need what if you're like me and you haven't got anything around the house that is worth to sell or that you don't need i'm a minimalistic person and honestly if you would be able if you were able to find three items in my house that are worth to sell and i don't need them you will be lucky yeah Honestly, if you don't have an iPhone that you don't need and you are willing to sell it half price, it will be very, very hard to raise money this way. It's possible, but it's very hard. 
three times better, five times easier, and ten times faster it will be if you've got some money to spend. And I mean, you have to treat this money as a lost money, yeah? You will spend it on your stock, but you have to assume everything goes tits up and you're gonna lose it, yeah? Don't take your rent money, food money, or some money that you really, really need and spend it on stock and hope for the best that you're gonna spend this money fast and you will be able to still pay your bills yeah no just only use money that you are prepared to lose so how much do you need 50 ta 50 pounds for scale poly mailers initial postage costs and few other things that you may need then you will need the stock the more money you can spend the better if you have 5000 super you are sorted but i don't think you've got 5000 let's say you've got 150 quid for stock so with the other 50 you've got 200 pounds to start your business now i hear it yeah but hey i don't have 200 pounds really you don't have 200 pounds and you want to set up your own business do you know how much money you need to set up a high street store or a news agent or or a takeaway on a, on an estate do you know how much money you need to stock up the smallest news agent that you can imagine it's surely most it's surely more than 200 pounds guys if you haven't got 200 pounds to start your business then don't start it don't start it go to work if you haven't got a job get a job do extra hours you know even go and ask your neighbors if you can uh, clean their, their windows or mow the, their garden yeah earn the money somehow you can't really think that you are going to start the business without any money yeah you can do it but it will take you a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of work you have to have something either to sell or you have to have the money do anything it takes to scramble around that 200 pounds yeah so let's buy stock we've spent 50 quid on a scale poly mailers and we saved the rest out of that 50 quid to pay for uh, for postage on your initial items okay let's buy some stock I will explain you that on the real life example yeah about a week ago maybe two weeks ago I've bought a job lot of clothing on eBay anybody could see it anybody could find it anybody could buy it anybody could do the same that i did literally with a minimal effort half an hour on your phone you were able to find it and buy it and pay for it and then three days later or five days later you had it in your house and there is plenty of those job lots on ebay I can pretty much guarantee you that I can find a job lot like that every single day. Every single day, guys. So what it was? It was 40 ladies workwear trousers, you know, kind of like black, uh, gray, navy, things like that, in color, things like that. Yeah, 
mixed sizes, mixed brands, cheap brands, uh, uh, high street brands, uh, supermarket brands, things like that. Uh, there was 20 tops and they were size 14 to 18 and there was 15 mixed sizes uh, skirts half of them was workwear half of them was casual about half of them so 40 20 15 so what 75 items altogether and I have paid 54 pounds and some change for that, including delivery. So we've got 40, 54 pounds spent and we've got 75 items. Now I know this supplier, I've bought from them before. I know what it, what it is. I know there will be maybe five, maybe six, maybe eight items that have marks so I have to sell them cheap or bundle them up or just discard them but let's say that out of 75 items 20 was unsellable 20 a lot 20 so that's that leaves us with 55 items that we have paid let's say 55 quid for yeah so that's one pound per item now out of my experience i know i can sell those items on average for 11 pounds postage included yeah if you don't believe me watch my sales roundup videos uh, that i post every single week and there is a link to the playlist over here yeah watch them and see for yourself that i am getting 11 pounds on average per item most weeks I easily meet this goal and go over it. There are weeks when I don't meet this goal, but overall in a span of a year, I meet this goal without a problem. Now let's do some maths. I know you don't like maths, but if you want to run a business, you will have to like maths. So, We've got our 11 quid. eBay fees plus VAT, 13.5%. That's £1.75. Plus £36 uh, flat fee. Plus cost of buying stock, £1. Plus postage, 2 quid. Most of the items will go as a large letter, no tracking, no nothing, no fancy stuff, cheapest as you can, throw it to the mailbox and pray for the best. That is pound fifty-three, I believe, for a large letter between 100 and 250 grams. 90% of large letters will go in that uh, weight brackets. Okay. For courier, for parcels, I use Hermes via, via parcel to go. Small parcel up to one kilogram works out £2.78 VAT included. Yeah? And that will take everything. 90% of my shoes, 99% of my jeans, all 100% of jumpers, 100% of... Uh, jackets, 90% uh, of coats, so uh, a lot of items will go this way. And let's set aside 50p out of every sale to cover our shop subscription. And let's say you promote your listings even with 5%, which is a lot, which will cost you 66p, but included. So we have 11 pounds and let's extract costs, which is altogether 601. It gives us profit of four pounds and 99 pence, minimum. Not always you will have to pay for promoted listings and often your average sale will be a bit higher, like 1120, 1115, 1125, something like that. 
also there may be less items to discard out of the bundle that you will buy so that will uh, bring down the cost of goods so you will pay let's say 85 pence per piece or 95 pence per piece every penny counts guys i know for a fact yeah that i will sell every item for 11 pounds including postage on average and i know that when i sell it for 11 pounds i've got bang on five quid profit so with our 150 pounds we can buy three job lots like that three job lots like that we are going to have at least 150 items if you are serious about it you should be able to list them photograph and list them in a week so you will have 150 items live on ebay ready to be bought ready to be paid for pay for how many will you say sell sorry again out of my experience i sell about 10 to 20 percent of newly listed items within first two weeks without promoting them then i turn promoted listings and i sell another 10 to 20 percent within next two three weeks so we have listed 150 items and within the first two weeks we should be able to sell 15 to 30. each item will bring us six quid that is five quid profit and one pound as a cost of goods so you have paid for the items then you have have sold one and you get that uh, that pound that you have paid for it back so you've got six pounds in your hand after selling one item six pounds times 15 items is 90 quid six times 30 items is 180 quid so after two weeks you will have at least 90 to 180 quid somewhere in between that region right so even if you've got 90 quid you can or a little bit more you can still buy two job lots that's enough money to buy next two job lots after two weeks so you can have another 100 items so you've got 120 old old items and 100 new items so 220 items e, after next two weeks you should be able again to sell about 10 to 20 percent out of those old listings and about 10 to 20 percent out of those new listings right and after those two weeks you are again you will have again more enough money to buy two job lots and you will list them again and then in next two weeks you will sell maybe five percent of those oldest listings 10 to 20 percent of those like a medium medium old listings and 10 to 20 percent of those new listings and again you will have enough money to buy two if not three job lots and you can spin it and spin it and spin it over and over and over again you know and this is where magic of compounding happen yeah if if you've got more and more and more items you will sell more and more and more items and you'll be uh, you will be able to buy more and more and more and more items and it's up to you how many times you're gonna spin it how much items you're gonna accumulate how many sorry how many items you will accumulate some of your items will sell instantly some of your items will sell after a month some of them will sell after three months some of them will stay there for a year or two with about 1400 items live i've got about 200 items less less than that say 150 to 180 
so 150 to 180 items that are about two years old or older but these still sell from time to time one a week two a week three a week you know sometimes you have to lower the price but if you still if you're still able to reach that 11 pounds average sale you are good to go you can lower the price no problem out of my experience talking about cheap ladies clothing when you reach 1200 to 1300 items you will manage to get enough money to replace these items that have sold and pay yourself minimum wage about a grand a month let's say that is with with not more than three hours of work a day if you reinvest the money like i like i've said a few minutes ago you can reach that level in six months that easily i would say in three months but let's say six months so after six months of working without getting paid for it you can get a minimum wage yeah working three four maybe four hours a day no matter what you are looking for yeah a full-time income part-time income side hustle if you want to build up you know savings for rainy days a uni fund for your children you know to give them better start into their adult life that you've ever had you know maybe you want to have some pension savings maybe you would like to replace your old car maybe you would like to save for the deposit uh, you know to buy a house or maybe you would, would like to buy a rental property i don't know maybe you would like to go to disneyland but you could never afford it i don't know what your motivation is but i know one thing anybody can start to sell on ebay full stop full stop and ebay will give you access to millions of potential customers payment processing system and many other tools and it will give it it will give that all to you for free yes for free you don't have to pay anything in advance you will only pay when you sell let's go back to that news agent you will you would have to fork out a lot of money to even start premises checkout system card pay, pay, payment system uh, stock uh, insurance god knows what else you know and you have to spend all that money without a guarantee that a single person will come through the door and buy something imagine how much overheads those owners have you know how much do they have to sell just to cover their overheads rent business rates electricity water rubbish removal plenty of other things yeah surely that that goes into thousands a month thousands a month just to stay above the surface yeah on ebay you can do it out of your own house using your phone that you already have using your house broadband that you pay anyway for using your laptop your printer your own car everything or most of those things you already have chances are you've got everything you need the only thing you need is to push yourself to do it for all those things you would pay anyway whether you are running the business or not i bet you've got a broadband at home whether you are running the business or you are not running the business you've got the broadband at home no so really really when you think about it there is no extra cost involved because you already have all or most of those things yeah and ebay does not require from you any formal education college uni degree courses nothing like that if you can read write and count you're good to go you don't have to pay for any books dvds 
shit like that to learn how to run business on eBay. You can do everything on YouTube. It, it will only cost you time to watch those videos and time to think it over. Now, it's up to you what you are going to do with your life. If you still have questions, watch my old videos. Plenty advice there on how to post your items, how to set up inventory system, how to buy job lots, how to increase sales, how to use promoted listings, how to lower number of returns, how to list fast, how to photograph fast, and many, many more. Just go there and watch. Go to the playlists, pick a subject, watch them. If you still have a questions after that, don't hesitate to ask me. I read all your comments and I answer every single question that I, that I know answer for. Because I'm not an expert, I don't know everything, I'm not a guru. Yeah? But remember one thing, I don't want you to have an impression that eBay is a big unicorn farting rainbows. It isn't. It's a chore. It's a chore. It requires hard work. It requires be re being organized, being focused on the, on the outcome, uh, uh, going extra mile. There will be hard time. There will be stress. There will be dis disappointment and confusion, at least at some point and from time to time, once in a year, twice in a, in a, in a year. But if you follow this model that I've just shown you, you only risk your initial 200 pounds. And even in case of massive fail across the board, you will sell some of those items. You will get some of this money back. In a worst case scenario, you can make a job lot out of your entire inventory and flog it on eBay for 30p an item, 50p an item. There will be plenty of people will, willing to pay that and you're gonna get half of your money back. I've run few businesses in my life and I can say one thing, reselling on eBay is the easiest business that I have ever run. Brings more, sat more satisfaction than any other business brings more money than any other business when I compare it to the effort that I put in. You know, I don't mind earning 200 pounds a week if I put half an hour of work every day. You know, I was able to survive and earn reasonable money for 11 months straight while being abroad and without listing a single new item on my account. Watch this video if you don't believe me. I've earned 10,000 pounds while being out of the country for 49 weeks out of 52 weeks in a year, in a tax year. That's it for today, guys. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please don't forget to click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Have a great week, guys. God bless you all and bye-bye.